Okay, if ever in Ljubljana you want something quick, easy, but delicious, I'm telling you the sandwich shop is the best. Comparable to Al Antico in Florence, but honestly, I like this one better. Not sure what's going on, but see the sign? It's all sunny behind us, but this little area is raining. Hmm. Good morning, my name is Alfredo, and this is Off the Strip, where I introduce you to places just minutes off the Las Vegas Strip, or take you on one of my adventures. If this is your first time to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. More information is listed below. It's our second day in Ljubljana, and we're taking a walk all the way up to the castle. So on our way to the castle, we are walking through this awesome farmer's market. Man, the, the fruit, you can smell everything. You can tell it's fresh because literally, it's so fragrant. All right, so on our way to the castle, we're gonna take the funicular all the way up, while half our group is gonna hike it all the way up. Crazy. Work the body for me, what, what? Tight squeeze in here. Okay, so we made it all the way to the top of the castle. And here's the view. Get it. The castle was first mentioned in historical records in 1112, making it over 900 years old. It started as a medieval fortress and it was rebuilt in the 15th century to defend against the Ottoman invasions. By the 17th century, it became a royal residence and later a military hospital. It even served as a prison. This chapel is called the Chapel of St. George and was built in 1489. It has beautiful frescoes and coats of arms on its walls. It's a small but stunning part of the castle and shouldn't be missed. No joke, these stairs are killing me. Today, Ljubljana Castle is a popular tourist destination. You can visit museums inside that tell the story of Ljubljana's history. There are also restaurants, art exhibits, and events held throughout the year. So we are in the center of Ljubljana Castle. So we just finished our tour of Ljubljana Castle. It's right behind me. Was it worth it? Absolutely. Um, there's a great show, great views. The views of the entire city, 360 degrees of the entire city. Totally worth it. It's worth it. 
So during the summer in Ljubljana, every Friday they have this food market, as you can see. It's just a bunch of vendors with different types of food. The amazing food market in Ljubljana that happens every Friday during the summer is amazing. This market is called Open Kitchen. It started in 2013 to bring people together to celebrate the city's diverse food culture. There are over 50 vendors offering delicious street food from all around the world. You can find everything from traditional Slovenian dishes to sushi to burgers and even vegan options. Most meals cost around mm, 5 to 10 euros, so it's a great place to try different foods without breaking the bank. The lively atmosphere with live music and the aroma of the food market is a must visit spot. Honestly, there's so many options, I don't even know what to eat and that it's so hot that I don't, again, I don't know what to eat. So I ended up with a roasted pig. What a beautiful day in Ljubljana. We're at the food market. I got a great meal. It's hot though, it's really hot. Okay, so we are on the first floor of Ljubljana's City Hall. Located in the heart of Slovenia's capital city, this historic building dates back to the 15th century. Throughout its history, Ljubljana City Hall has hosted important events and meetings, shaping its city's governance and cultural life. Today, it remains a symbol of Ljubljana's civic pride and historical significance. So we just left the City Hall, met the nice security guard telling us all about these things. Um, what we can do and stuff like that. But he also told us in 2006, the mayor closed the streets for, um, to vehicles, which is why it's so pedestrian friendly here. If you can look around, no cars, just people on bikes and walking. Hey, thanks for watching. Do me a quick favor, hit that like button and tell me in the comments, have you been to Ljubljana or would you like to visit Ljubljana? I don't know what street we meandered into in Ljubljana, but it's fabulous. It's great. Love it. So we are going to check out the National Library of Ljubljana. Ljubljana's National Library is a cultural treasure in Slovenia's capital city. Established in 1774, it holds a vast collection of books, manuscripts, and historical documents. Today, the library serves as a hub for research, education, and cultural activities. So is it raining? Mm, no, just a sprinkler right above us in the middle of the main center. See, there's the sprinklers. Right now we are walking towards Ljubljana's Dragon Bridge. The Dragon Bridge was built in 1901 and it's famous for the dragon statues. These dragons symbolize the power and protection reflecting the city's history and culture. We are walking across Dragon Bridge right now. So the symbol of Ljubljana are dragons, and these dragons are made from hammered copper. After exploring the city some more, we returned to Dobra Villa Sandwich Shop, the place we accidentally discovered the day before. They have fresh ingredients and freshly baked handmade bread. This is a must-have when in Ljubljana.
So we are getting these sandwiches. They're really big, so I asked them to cut it in half. It's very much like Al Antico in Florence, but um, very excited to try it. So this sandwich is so good. It's mortadella, there's pistachio, there's stracciatella, which I thought was chocolate chip because that's what chocolate chip stracciatella is. Soft chip ice cream, but it's, she explained that it's a soft inside of a burrata cheese. So it's got that. The bread, it's like a very crispy kacha bread straight out of the oven. When she sliced it, it was still steaming. It is really good sandwich. After lunch, we entered the Franciscan Church, also known as the Pink Church. Built in the 17th century, the pink facade is a distinctive landmark in the city center. The church is significant for its Baroque architecture and rich history, serving as a place of worship and at community gatherings for centuries. Today, the Franciscan Church remains as a symbol of Ljubljana's spiritual heritage and a popular site for visitors to admire its beauty and historical charm. Ljubljana is so beautiful at night. There's the Franciscan Church or the Pink Church and the Triple Bridge right behind me. So we're at this um, charcuterie board and wine place for like a light dinner right next to the river. It's a beautiful place. Body for me, what? St. Giles 2024. But in oh, that's right. That's right. St. Giles 2024. It's the best. For those that aren't, that don't know, St. Giles was our drinking spot in Edinburgh, but we took it to fucking Budapest, and then we kind of took it to, to Greece too. So anytime we're going drinking after everyone goes to bed, it's called St. Giles. So we just order our second bottle of wine. So, the Slovenian Merlot is really good. So it's just after midnight. We had some <laughs> good wine over here. And yeah. Where, where's Neil? Neil's right here. <laughs> and um, we're walking back now. Yeah. Thank you, Ljubljana. Thank you, Ljubljana. What not? Voila. 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 Um, what are we doing for the night? It's what a way to end our second night in Ljubljana. See you next time. Drop that.